Hi, everybody. I'm back. Okay, so I'm here to answer uh, my Ask Alyssa questions. So the first question is, sorry, I'm getting myself fixed here. All right. My first question is um, from a student who has uh, gotten a full-time offer and accepted it. So congratulations. That's amazing. Um, and the question is, do I need to still meet with my career coach? So the answer is yes, one more time. <laughs> and so what you want to do is you want to let your career coach know that you've received a full-time offer, that if you, you've accepted it, where you're going, um, your title, uh, so that way they know. Um, we actually are tracking all of our students on our, you know, on, on our side of the house. And so by doing that, um, it will take you off of outreach lists. Um, so you won't continually get emails from us asking, you know, how things are going and if you need help and all that. So um, it's to your benefit to contact your coach to let them know um, that you have received a full-time offer and to give them the details. Um, you will be asked to submit all of that information at graduation for our placement survey. Um, but like I said, it kind of takes you off of the list for further outreach. So, um, so that's fabulous. So congratulations. And also, you should come in and do a hashtag hired picture. So that way we can talk about your good news on Career Edge and Facebook and all of our um, and Insta. Uh, so we can celebrate your good news. So my next question is from a student who is interested in learning more about an event for managerial economics majors. So I would actually suggest that you reach out to our dedicated career coach for ME majors. His name is Brian Mokio. Um, if there's any event that's happening that's related to that major, he will know all about it and he will be able to tell you exactly um, what you should be doing to prepare for it and how to navigate it. So, um, so you want to reach out to Brian um, to get more information about that. My last question for today um, comes from, I believe, a first year because they are asking when should first years come into career services and that's an excellent question. So we are still in the fall of your first year, so the answer is not yet. Um, there is no reason for you to be in our office right now. Um, we actually are very deliberate about not engaging with first years during the first, uh, the fall of their first year because for a number of reasons, very quickly, number one, you're very overwhelmed. You're just trying to figure out how to go to school and, and live here on your own and getting used to being on campus. So um, we really want you to be focused on that and doing well. And the distraction of getting an internship right now is just, it's not necessary. Because the second reason is, is that employers aren't really looking for you yet. You don't even have a first semester GPA. So um, the chances of you finding an internship right now are very, very minimal. So that's why we do CDI 101 in the spring because that's when any company that's gonna be looking for first years is really gonna be doing their searching for you is in the spring. So that's the other reason why we hold off on CDI 101 because it's more relevant to you and your needs and employers' needs in the spring. So uh, so you do not need to be here this semester and don't put the pressure on yourself to be here. Um, the only thing you need to do with regard to our office this semester is to register for CDI 101 in, in November when you're registering for your spring courses. Um, you're gonna learn all about how to do that in your FYS class when Academic Services comes in and tells you how to do your registration. They're gonna talk about CDI 101 there's a seat for every single first year. We run 30, 32 sections of the class. Um, we do 24 sections in the first six weeks. We do another eight in the second. So there's lots of opportunities for you to take this class. So long story very short, or actually long story long, is um, just make sure you're registered for a CDI class and then you're good to go and then go. Go to CDI and then we'll take it from there. Okay, so um, we look forward to seeing you in class in next semester. And I hope you all have a fabulous weekend, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.